I came up with the idea of, of making a movie about the the dark side of of of, of Denmark's war history. Um, normally, we always hear about how good we were, how how helping we were to. Uh, but I believe that all nations have a dark side. So that's when I started researching. The motivation to to write the script was I wanted to tell a story about that um, uh, the eye for an eye mentality uh, doesn't work and that we as humans should treat other humans as we want to be treated ourselves. So, but it was always a fine balance because usually you always see the Germans as the evil uh, nation that was a war at war against the world, but this time it was, if you ask me, they were innocent kids, but it was still always a fine balance because you didn't know, I didn't know what these kids have actually done before they came to the, to the beach. When I first found out that um, the Germans were forced out onto the beach to clear the mines, um, I became much more interested in the story, of course, which I thought was horrible that they, that boys were forced out there. I always, I always felt that, of course, the Germans should clear the mines themselves, but did it have to be kids? So I started. There isn't a, a lot of books written about this, so actually I went around on cemeteries, hospitals, and uh, to not historians but semi-experts who was interested in in the in the history of 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 the beaches in in, in Denmark. So it was mostly you know uh, um, private people who had huge collections of 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 war material or stories or pictures and stuff like that. There isn't one single history book uh, written about it. So I, I felt that it was, it was a topic that nobody really wanted to touch, but hopefully now there'll be a, some debate and maybe a history book written about it. For the casting, I was, I've always been very inspired by Michael Haneke, so, uh, and I've always liked the way he casted his movies, so I asked who was the caster of Michael Haneke, and I found out that was Simon Baer, and then we went down to Simon Baer's place, and I told her what I was looking for, what kind of kids I was looking for, and then she invited a lot of boys in, street cast, some of them. Some of them have, had never acted before, some of them had. Um, Louis, who plays Sebastian, had played before. Joe, who plays Helmut, had acted before. Um, but basically, they were all casted for the same, all the roles. Uh, all the boy, none of the boys knew which part they were going to get, so I had five boys in a room playing against each other, trying to find out. Because what happens when you have boys in there is that a, a natural hierarchy kind of starts immediately, and which was very interesting. You could easily see, okay, who's the leader here? Who's the underdog? Who's the, which I actually used in, 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 in the casting process. And it was also interesting during the shooting that you felt this hierarchy evolve into like it probably would have been that time. And I also felt that, you know, when some of the boys actually blew up and got sent back to Germany, they felt, you know, they were missing each other's friends, like they died for real, because once you got blown, blown up in the movie, you were sent home. And and we kept on shooting, of course, yeah. There's there's a lot of moments that I really really uh, uh, think.
think about some of them with 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 difficulties, but some of them with the the one moment that I remember the most is with the twins um, in the cabin, where he where he sits and talks with Roland about his brother, and he wants to go find him. I remember I was crying. The whole team was crying. The DOP was crying. Everybody, uh, it was it was so heartbreaking. And to sit with a guy who understood his part and his character that much, and he had Emil had never played before. He's never done anything, and he was so good at at capturing the essence of what it means to lose someone that close, um, which was very important for, for, for Roland's character, um, um, Carl the Sergeant. Um, that was the change point of him. Okay, now I believe that his character should develop in the other direction. The biggest challenge was probably the weather and, and the beach. Because when you have a crew of 80 people walking around in the sand, you leave footprints all the time. So I think I was a bit naive once we started shooting and, and thought that I would get, because we had one location, that I would get a lot of time in preparing, in directing, in actually take, doing the scenes. But it took a lot of time removing footsteps, digging down mines again, and um, so that came as a surprise. Um, um, emotionally, it was it was it was the biggest challenge was always to find the right balance of of that this was this was not a movie about. Um, making the Germans into he heroes. This was a movie about forgiveness and that people should treat each other with the way they wanted to be, be treated themselves. And I wanted to make sure that Carl had the right journey, that I actually understand his hate, but I also understand the, the, the change that he's going through the day before we started shooting, um, there was a real mine under the, under the sand, yeah, um, which is of course always scary. I mean, it wouldn't blow up if you stepped on it, but you shouldn't hit it with a hammer. It it was it was. I think there are still mines over there, even though they say they're all gone, but uh, there's still a few ones ones there. What they did was, you know, even though they had maps over there. When they had too many mines, they just put them there in a pile next to the next to where the map was, and uh, because of the water and the sand, they've moved around, so they don't really know if there are still some line there. Land of Mine is is taking place uh, right after Second World War. And it's about um, 14 German, uh, very young soldiers who are forced out uh, to the beaches in Denmark and uh, uh, yeah, forced to clear up mines uh, by the Danish government. People should watch Land of Mine because um, I think it's it's not only a, a a movie about Second World War. It's also about human behavior and how we uh, respond to each other uh, during war and after war. And that um, we should be careful that we don't become monsters ourselves when we try to defeat monsters. And um, it's about that. You will learn as a, as a human um, from your mistakes, and uh, it's okay to change. It's okay to um, go in a different direction, even though you thought you had 
the right uh, answers. Um, and I think that's important nowadays also in, in how we respond to refugees or if we open borders or if we hate in general or fear in general. I think once you, as Carl in the movie, once, you, once he gets to know these kids, he'll find out that they have the same uh, emotions, uh, needs as he does for food and love and, and et cetera. And I think we will find out if we spend enough time with each other um, in the world we live in now, we will also find out that we share the same needs. Um, so hopefully it's not just a dusty war movie uh, about something that once was, but something we can use, use now as well.